Hey everybody, it's Joe. You know, today at the 3D printer, it's uh, cranking out sets of wood wars, and after that, I've got some repairs to do to it. But you know what? Right now, right now it's lunchtime, so I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. You know, the funny thing is with 3D printing, every time somebody makes a food-related 3D print, there's always somebody online who asks the question, but is it food safe? And you know, in the past, my answer to that has always been, well, duh, no. I mean, FDA regulation and brass nozzles and layer lines and stuff. There's no way that a 3D print could possibly be food safe. Turns out I was wrong. I actually made a phone call to the people at the FDA to ask how one would go about calling your stuff food safe and could you get a 3D print to be food safe and I discovered that the FDA really only cares about a couple of things. They care about what the object is made out of and what it's being used for. For instance, this knife was 3D printed in ABS. And you would think, well, ABS, it's got all sorts of nasty chemicals in it. It shouldn't be food safe, but it's only coming in contact with the food items for a very short period of time. Even, even the plate is really just not coming in contact with the food object for very long. It's just a, a momentary thing and then it's done and then it uh, uh, is going to be taken off of the object. However, if I were making a, a sandwich container or, or something to hold the peanut butter or honey in, then the material that I would use would have to be something not ABS that could stand it. And there are places that sell food safe plastic and you can check out what those are good for. Uh, thank you Simon for holding on to that. Even like a, a cookie cutter. It just comes in contact with the item for just a second and then its contact ends. So this could be made out of ABS and it's just fine. Now, you can go on the FDA website and they have a long list of every single item that they, or, or every single material that you can make stuff out of and the uses that it's good for. And if you go on there and do your research and make sure that the item that you're using is appropriate for the material that you're using it for, then the FDA says, go ahead, call it food safe. They're not going to regulate you, but if you get called out on it, you might have to provide a certificate showing your research and that's on the FDA website too. And I'll have links to all of this stuff wherever links are found. But the next time somebody says something about, oh, 3D prints can't be food safe, you tell them, ho ho, contraire, they totally can be. You just have to be careful about what you're doing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've learned a little something today and I hope that you'll come back to the workbench. It was a pleasure having you here again and I'll see you next time.